we need to follow the arrow. So we're going to start right over here at the school bus. We need to draw lines right through the school buses. So start at this arrow, go through one school bus, two school bus, drag it down to three school bus. Now there's more over here, so we want to drag through the other school buses and look for more. And those are down right here. We're going to go straight down. Stop, look for more school buses over here. Let's draw that line. Great job. And then finally, we're going to find the ones on the bottom. Let me see if I can get this in the spot right there. Okay. And right down. There we go. Excellent work. Now, let's take a look at the next page. So the next page we have drawing lines to match the types of weather to the correct season. So let's take a look at our seasons. We've got snow, that's winter. Wind, that's around spring or the end of winter. The sun, that's summer. And then we've got rain coming down. That could be spring too or fall. So when would you be at the beach? Well, you definitely need sunny weather. When could you make a snowman? Well, you definitely need snow. So we want snowy weather. Draw a line to it. And to fly a kite, you need wind. So that would be this picture right here. Yeah, I know it's not that easy to see, but there are wind marks around this cloud. And this girl has an umbrella, so you definitely need an umbrella when it is raining. Very good job. All right, so the next page we have here is a coloring and counting page. So we have the numbers one, two, three, four, five, and it reads color five snails. Well, snails are generally brown, so I'm taking my brown crayon and I'm going to color one snail, two snail, three snail, and four snail, and five. Now the next line reads, color five birds. One, two, three, four, and five. You may color your birds any color you like, I like bluebirds, so I colored mine blue. The next line reads to color five butterflies. Let's see. One, two, three, four, and five. There's actually one more, but that does not make it five. I already colored one, two, three, four, five. The question at the bottom asks you what number comes after five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Write that in the box. Great job. Let's go to the next page. We have the number five. We need to trace the five down, around, over the top, down, around, over the top, down, around, over the top to make the number five. So we've got five stripes on this bumblebee. Let's trace it. One, two, drag. Drag your pencil or your black crayon. Great. Now we need to trace the five spots on the ladybug. You can use your black crayon. I'm using my black marker so you see it. One circle. Two circle, three circle, four circle, and five circle. Great job. The next page, which is our last page, is a letter E. We need to trace it. So remember, we're talking about the skyline and the plain line and the grass line. So right here, we've got the skyline down to the grass line. And while we're at the grass line, pull a line out. Go up to the plain line, pull a line out. Go up to the sky line, pull the line out. Start at the sky line, drag it down to the grass line, pull a line out. Up to the plain line, pull it out. Up to the sky line, pull it out. 
Skyline, drag it down to the grass line. Pull it out on the grass line. Up to the skyline, drag it out. Up to the plain line, drag it out. Here we go. Drag it out, drag it out, drag it out. Great job. Skyline to a grass line, drag it out on the grass line, drag it out on the plain line, drag it out on the skyline. You have the letter E. Great work. I'll see you tomorrow on Wednesday.